Hello YouTube, Ian aka Boot Collector here today with another limited edition unboxing from Nike and if you haven't seen these yet you're on for a treat. I want to show you all the details so if you're interested in learning more please stick around for today's video. Now if you don't want to miss more videos of new releases and classic boots from my collection make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you do enjoy this video please support me with a like because it really helps. Okay, let's get to the boots. And as you can already see, we've got both the elite editions here. Check out those boxes, like how cool are they? Carrying that through onto the drawstring bags too. Loving this bright orange color pop. Diving straight in, let's go for the Superfly. This is the one we saw revealed first of all, and is a true homage to that original Safari Ronaldo Superfly 2. So yeah, as you can see, that all over print is really something. White collar the Superfly, so no pattern on the knit there, of course. Laces too, they carry the Safari print. The big orange swoosh here, right at the toe. And the Mercurial branding on the heel. Underneath, there's a call out in orange and a slight iridescence. You can see that here on the stud area, just smart. All right, how does this compare to the Vapor? Okay, let's take a look. Well, you won't be surprised to see that, yep, it's pretty much identical, save for the lack of a collar. Thing is, for me, this might just be the better looking of the two, you know? The one that kind of just feels like the evolution when you remember that the OG boot was a low cut too. You can see the addition of the CR Celebration logo on the sock liner, but yeah, as I was saying, the Vapor is probably feeling like my favorite. It's got the same sole plate underneath as the Superfly, of course. And both of these are FG plates and you can see again that colour shift as the light changes on the plate. Alright, so one thing I've seen a few queries on with this edition is that do they feature the chevron pattern that was on the original? Well, I can confirm that they do, well, kind of, but it's much more subtle than the original, nowhere near as obvious. I've taken some pics of these under the flash and in normal light it's all just about visible but you do kind of have to go looking for it. It's not very clear in this video unfortunately either but you just take my word for it that they are there. Ah, Neon De Insole, the CR logo and signature autograph. I kind of wish Nike carried on with the numbering that was started with the OG Safaris. I always thought that was kind of cool. Now that would be around 20 something, I think maybe 29 Ronaldo exclusives now. All right, so which are you liking here? Superfly on the left, Vapor on the right. Let me know in the comments below. Ah uh, yeah, just to show you, here's the bag. You get this with the Elite Pairs, and again, also keeping that theme going across the orange accents. Nice. Okay, so for me, the original Safari boot has a lot of sentimental love about it. It was personally a good time in my life and for football and being involved in football and I've been waiting for a remake of these ever since I saw someone called Swoosh Customs do a concept edit, which must have been like two, three years ago now. So I'm really, really pleased Nike have finally released these and it's really cool these are like a 10 year anniversary release. I'm sure some of you are wondering how limited these are. Well, they're not numbered, so we'll not really officially know, but I wasn't going to pass up on the chance to get these. As said, the Safari is one of my all-time favourite boots. Now, don't bother asking me about resale on these, because basically if you're only after boots to resell, I've got no time for you. It's all about collecting and wearing your boots, feeling good and looking good in the process. Oh, and to add, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, I'll put a link in the description so you can get your own before they sell out. Big shout out to my friends at ProDirect Soccer for the assist on these, helping me show you guys these boots in hand and up close. Nice one guys. So I couldn't bring these out and not compare with the OG, the icon, the original, the legendary Superfly Safari 2. Putting these two Superflies side by side, the look is just, well, it's just insane. But you can definitely see how the boot has evolved over the last decade. One thing I do not miss from the original is that scent stud gimmick. I mean, it just didn't add anything to the boot for me and it was quite distracting when actually playing in them. That and the fact that Superfly 2 wasn't really the most supple of boots Nike have ever made, of course. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content in this video. And again, don't forget to like if you did and subscribe so you don't miss any more uploads. Until next time, see ya. Thank you.